people appear to be hopeful of the idea that there's still time for negotiations to go on and for the volunteers to actually enter into the Rohingya camp. So I'm sad at this point as uh, the government not to allow the Malaysian aid ship, the nautical alias. Uh, they actually came by a decision like this not too long ago on February the 3rd. Uh, we received reports that the Malaysian aid ship was not actually allowed to enter into Bangladesh. But a couple of hours early, a day or so later, the decision to not allow the ship into Bangladesh was overturned, and now the ship and the ship was on its way. Until was informed yesterday that the ship would not be allowed to enter into Jeknaf. However, three alternatives have been given, which is which was Chittagong, Kutubia, and Saint Martin's Island, and the volunteers aboard the ship were not allowed to get off. Now, earlier today, there was a press conference by the organizers, especially uh, where Dr. Sri Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahim spoke, and he said that they are going to make their way towards Chittagong, one of the three alternatives given by the Bangladesh government in order for the aid ship to dock at, because assume, uh, assuming that the area around Tekna is too shallow for the ship, which has a depth of about eight meters to dock at, so the idea is that they're going to go to Chittagong, and then they're, and then from there, they are going to transport some of the aid to Cox Bazaar, which is south of Chittagong, and which will approximately take about nine hours by bus. We're not sure at this point, uh, but with this is, but it is believed that there is a Rohingya camp there, about one hour away from from Cox Bazaar, and. The volunteers will be distributing some of the aid in Cox Bazaar and the, or at least in the Rohingya refugee camp in Cox Bazaar. Uh, however, at this point, the volunteers on the ship do not have the visa on arrival at Chittagong, and uh, Abdul Aziz is, is hoping that the Bangladeshi government will give their approval for this to, to go along. Um, and we asked him what made him so sure, or at least con what, what made him so confident that this would be happening. He said the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Dr. Sri Najibuddin Raza, was in the loop. And as for um, Yangon, um, the ship, the nautical alia, is expected to reach Yangon, or at least uh, Myanmar official, or at least near Yangon, or at least Myanmar waters, at around 9:30 p.m. later tonight at their local time. Um, however, it will not be able to enter or at least dock into Yangon waters because of a low tide, and the ship will have to wait until high tide at about 10:15 a.m. tomorrow before it is actually allowed to go inside Yangon port waters safely, where it will then be directed by a pilot all the way over there to to Yangon port. And we expect that an official delegation by the Myanmar by Myanmar officials and perhaps even the Malaysian ambassador to Myanmar will also be there to receive the aid ship, and these will be transported uh, supposedly by barge at this point from Yangon to Sitwe, which is about 900 or so kilometers away. Um, all the other details at this point about how the aid is going to be carried around in, uh, in Bangladesh from Chittagong to Jeknaf. Um, we are told that it might be brought by steamer or by barge, um, and then some of the uh, aid to be brought to Cox Bazaar will also might also take um, be taken from Chittagong to Cox Bazaar, well, probably by lorry. Uh, we're not sure at this point how it's going to be done um, because that's because we're still organizers here, still hoping that volunteers will be given visa on arrival. And after then, any and what happens after that is anyone's guess. Uh, this is all dependent on whether the Bangladeshi government will allow the volunteers to get off. And I'm told, or at least I'm interested to, that these uh, that negotiations are currently going on between the government of Bangladesh and the government of Malaysia.